I think about politics in this country. The there is brilliant because people can get a job and save money and everything. Politics isn't for young people because it's aimed at the voting age of 18. It's not for kids of 16, 17. They're not interested in it. Well, the idea behind it being that you have someone who represents you and your opinions for the greater good, but really it makes no difference who you choose because the end result is always going to be the same. So the political system is in itself a sham. Uh, it's not that it would make me vote, it's that it needs changing and I'd probably vote for someone who would change it. It's the fact that there's no mental health sort of help at all for adolescents in this area. You have mental health offices for children up to the age of 12 and until you reach 18 there's no one there to help you. And if you go to the doctors, say, for depression or anything, the first thing they do is give you drugs. I've uh, tried to play my part as a young person, come along to these meetings, uh, meeting the councillors and uh, getting, the, getting the views heard of what we want and what young people need. Um, there's been seven of them of year, years where um, they come along and they sit with you in the, around the table, discuss your point, this is what we need. A couple of more meetings later you don't hear, hear from them. So the one thing that will make me go out and vote if the person is ready to listen to the views of the young people and to make a change. I agree with that. I think it should be. I would vote for a candidate who's young, someone who can relate to us, somebody who knows what the community needs, what young people in this community or country need, and um, maybe a party that displays honesty and morals, which will probably be hard to find in a politician, but you never know. What does it profit a man if he gains the earth and loses his soul? The bureaucracy and its democracy of hypocrisy is shocking me constantly and blocking me from achieving my dreams properly. I'd like to take an interest in it, but I find it difficult because there's nothing there's nothing available to me easily which which will interest me. Yeah. Everything that's made available is quite frankly boring. Yeah. And just a load of nonsense mm. that I I can't take an interest in. So we're saying that we'd like to take an interest if it was interesting. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, we're just saying it's trash. Yeah, well. The majority of parties, anyway, offers the promise stuff. Like, but they don't just deliver. Promise loads of stuff that you can't possibly, which can't possibly happen. Yeah. We'd like a party that would stick to their guns when making promises. Yeah. Yeah. Life is a rock and roll circus. Facing each day away Love is a bundle of fruit cake Crumbling cosmic bee I think that uh, young people do, do uh, certainly get involved in single issue campaigns or what are perceived as single issue campaigns but often you'll find that um, there are wider issues there. For example, Friends of the Earth um, has a campaign called The Big Ask which is all about climate change and we found a lot of young people get involved in that campaign but they're not just concerned about how climate change will affect them, 
They're also concerned, for example, about how, how it will affect um, less developed countries. Remember, democracy is not just something that happens every four years. We need to make sure that our politicians remain accountable. And the best way of doing that is by contacting them, writing to them, emailing them, you know, keeping them on their toes. I would say the reason why I entered politics was I was fed up of having to make do with the decisions made in my name by politicians I just felt weren't represented of me. I looked at the political parties thinking, oh, there can't be a party out there which represents my needs. I found one and the bits that I didn't like I've been working within to change it. So I would advocate anybody who's interested in politics just to step up. I think it's great to say that young people aren't apathetic about politics, they're just a little bit disengaged and that's entirely down to the culture of politics we have in our country. You only see politicians at elections um, and then maybe they turn up on your doorstep with a petition fighting against something or fighting for something, but what do you ever hear about the results of that? I think we've got to have a serious discussion about a public discussion across Scotland about what politics is and how everybody can engage with it and then everybody will be going to the polls on polling day. I think young people should get involved in politics if they want to make a difference. You know, I think people aren't apathetic, young people aren't apathetic about politics. They're in their droves for the Make Poverty History rally and uh, Faz Lane demos, anti-war demos. It's just about engaging them with party politics. I've been uh, trying to communicate with young people and come on Alden Cove side from the standing and there's about a thousand first time voters in that constituency and I'm standing in a seat with only 520 votes in it as a majority. So you know these people, these young people yeah. with their first ever vote could actually decide the election in the seat I'm standing. We are here uh, in Edinburgh in the capital of Scotland uh, and we're uh, on the crux of an election campaign uh, to decide the future of Scotland because truly for the first time uh, in a many generations we have an election campaign which will uh, influence uh, and shake the very foundations of Scotland because we've got one party vying to make us independent and the other parties trying to remain with the union whether you're of the left or of the or centre or the right you've got to get involved with political parties and try and mould them into what you want them to be because they always have they will always have a core belief within them, but if you want to change the image, or if you want to change the direction of a political party, then you have to get involved. Hi, I'm Daniel Piggins. I'm uh, 22 years old. I am the uh, convener of the Scottish Youth Parliament's Equal Opportunities Committee. I am a very active member and a board member of FAV Scotland. That's F-A-W-B, Scotland. Government policy on equality and access issues leaves a lot to be desired, no matter what part of the country you come from and no matter what level of government you're looking at. If someone with a disability wants to go out there and stand for Parliament and get in, then the system should be there to provide support for them to do it, and they should be able to be as representative as others. But I think it's a sad day when MSY, MSPs in general can't represent pe people with disabilities. Sit back and ask yourself, are you happy with life as it is? Education, work, travel, accommodation, cost of living. If you're not, then ask yourself why. Why? You're not getting involved. We need your help to get involved.